Now, what do you think is like the pedal you use the most or that you enjoy using the most? Uh, the pedal I use the most is definitely this Double Rock. It's pretty much on every song. I've like searched for years for just like what I consider to be the perfect distortion sound and I absolutely found it with this J Mascus designed uh, Double Rock pedal with by Z-Bex. It's just perfection to me. What you know when you see Jay, uh, Jay on a pedal, you know it's, it's gonna bring loudness. Exactly, and that's like what I want. I mean, I, I used it like a DS1 for a very long time. Yeah. So, you know, like the introductory boss distortion pedal, which is perfect and like I would never knock it, but you know, when you're starting to look for that, that, that right combination that has like clarity so that you're, you know, even though you're playing distortion, like if you have any sort of like interesting voicings that you're doing, you still kind of like want those to come through yeah. harmonically. And I found that to be a challenge because a lot of distortions just kind of like compresses everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It compresses, it squashes, and then you like don't get that clarity. Um, but this double rock, I just fucking adore because it does everything that I wanted and to do. And it's two sides, right? So it's like there, there's, I guess, two kind of. Yeah, so it used to be like uh, the box of rock was like the Zvex uh, big distortion. And yep. then I guess Jay Mascus went to them and was like, I want two boxes of rock in like one <laughs> package. In one package. So they, they, Essentially, do the same thing. I kind of use like this side as a distortion and this side as a boost. Okay. And but oftentimes I have them engaged at the same time anyway, just to have that like extra, like lift. All right, Missy, can you show us kind of different the two sides of it and how you use it? Yeah, sure. So uh, usually, if I'm like doing a kind of introductory like rhythm thing. Yeah, we're gonna lay this one down <laughs> before it hurts itself or something else. Yeah. Um, this is my most recent acquisition, and I, in the same way where I felt like I had spent so much time searching for what I considered to be like the perfect distortion sound, I've spent double that amount of time searching for like the perfect fuzz sound. Uh, my main problem with fuzzes is that they're like so intense and so encompassing that you lose any note value. Yeah. And so that it just becomes this like, you know, like this wild west of like <laughs> waves and shit. Yeah. And like when I, I was looking for a fuzz to kind of give that extra like lift to lead lines. And so obviously when you're doing lead lines, you don't want to lose that note value. You don't want to yeah. lose that like kind of like harmonic value. So this hoof, um, I think I tried it at um, where I bought my reverend at Russo Music in Philly. And when I was getting the Reverend, I was like, I also really need a fuzz because I just got tired of the fuzz that I had and swapping out so many. And then when I tried this hoof, it was like an immediate, like this is exactly the, the fuzz I've been looking for. So let's hear the hoof and then let's hear how you use it with the double rock. So usually with the double rock, I think like one uh, place I can think of. Gotta Hopefully bring it. Will, but yeah, I have to bring <laughs> it a little bit more. But um, that's like usually how I, I use it is either for moments like where we're like kicking in and we're adding like more subs from our Moog and stuff to just like increase that that heaviness. Yeah. Or for single note solo stuff where you really want them to like ring Pop. out. Pop. Yeah. Pop 